welcome back to Star Wars, uh, Crooky Throat, sorry about that, and uh, we're going to be heading, I think, to uh, my quest line next, which is the uh, A Woman Scorned. Should be a, <clears throat> a simple, uh, straightforward quest, I think. Uh, where are we going? Yep. So. Okay. And then at some point we'll be planting a bomb. Again. I imagine on the Republic side there's a lot of stopping the Empire from planting bomb. Yeah, there probably is. Um, I think my quest here is just going to be a, a straightforward kind of blackmail run, really. Yep. I'm not sure if this is going to take us into the, the next zone or not, but I'm guessing it's not, so... Kind of nice little pass coming up through here. I don't think I came down here, so I don't think I had a reason to when I leveled my bounty hunter. There we go. You right there, Kenneth? You've gone quiet, or maybe I can't hear you. I am. No, no, I am here, sorry. I was sort of concentrating as a minor little game bug in combat. I was a bit, oh, what the hell's going on? Uh, I thought I might have lost you on Ventry. Oh. No. It's all good. I was actually saying, I actually remember coming up that pass um, about six months ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I honestly don't remember anything of the plot here anymore. Well, I've not been as far as this on the warrior, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know either your uh, quest line anymore. I did for some of Tatooine, but my warrior's oh, right. still on on Tatooine. I purposely sort of kept clear of the warrior. Which is a shame in one regard, because the plot is so good. Right between the eyes. I love this. Well, trying to save it for our re recording and that, I guess. Yeah, totally. Well, it's been anyway, it's a very enjoyable way to watch the plot as well. And, of course, when you're doing it with two people levelling, it just... I don't know, the game on your own is good to level, but when there's two of you doing it, um, it's so much more fun. Yeah, because there's quite a few comedy moments, and it's more... Uh, I don't know, it feels better to be laughing with someone else when you, you see those comedy moments come up. Yeah, it's a good experience to share. God, that sounded... <laughs> there we were in the last episode talking about hippiness and the rest of it. That looks like an upgrade. Nice, I will take some of that. I mean, the accuracy is a bit meh because I'm healing, but. Yeah, go for it. It's a, a new skirt. It's a blue one. I'll then. just die whilst you're upgrading your gear, shall I? Oh. Oh, hello. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I hope they kick your ass now. Oh, look, I've got new gear. I'm going to let Kalaf die, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oops. I guess. Um, this is gonna leave a scar. Wait a minute, I'm about to lose my companion now as well. Right, let's heal him. Everybody, now watch how fast a, uh, a healer DPS is in this game. Um, not at all, considering I'm just healing my uh, companion. Oh yeah. Who's doing all the damage that is required? She's great. Right, yeah. let's, let's get you up, you lazy git. <laughs> I can't believe you let me die there. You're talking about, oh, this gear's nice, it's a bit better on that, that, and I'm like, yeah, I'm on like 4%, mate. Cheers. So, I can hit a button here called, this is from one of the patches. I'm just going to show it quick. Um, so now I've got a new kit, but they don't match, and I don't really want to look like the Sith clown. Um, so you can hit this button here, it says unify colours, 
and it changes the uh, the pants here just to be a little bit more, more matching. So now I'm no longer the Sith clown. Well, I am the Sith clown, but not in looks, not with the big boots and that. Do we have to kill him? Uh, he looks at me funny. Guess we do. Yeah, and he said something. Yeah, about fair your, enough. He said something about your mother. Did he? He had a pot. Right. Okay. He's getting a tea bag there. <laughs> Don't talk about my mum like that. To be fair, he did say that she was a very fine person, and uh, it was lovely meeting her. Really? He definitely better not, you know. It's not like my mum at all. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously lovely. <laughs> it's obviously not mayor at all. <laughs> to be fair... Mummy Sith would have kicked his ass. To be fair, I think he spelt meat differently. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's <laughs> oh, quite alright. I'm just remembering I'm saving it up. Don't worry. I know. I've descended into your mama jokes. Not clever. Thing is, I'm rubbish at those your mama joke. Uh, yeah, me too, really. I can allude to it, but. There we go. Right, we are going the right way, just making sure. Yeah, I just checked actually. I was thinking the same thing just a second ago. It was looking a bit dodgy. Was it left here, innit? Yep. Off you take care of this captain. Here we go. I love force choke. What a move. Yeah, you can uh, recognise that gargling from anyway. Nice. Oh yeah! Bit like the uh, yeah retching when someone has like a banana. They've eaten too much of banana at once. <laughs> <laughs> banana, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, totally. That, that's what you're going with, is it, banana? <laughs> yeah, it's like a banana. You know, <laughs> how deep can you get a banana before you choke? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody try that, by the way. <laughs> I'm not recommending it. <laughs> To be fair, I would, <laughs> banana or, or any other fruit based product I'd try and avoid choking on. Yeah, choking's just not generally good. Um, unless she doesn't mind. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't <laughs> laugh at my own jokes, but. You've stunned me a little bit, actually. I, I wasn't expecting a banana-related joke. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure I could eat one right now, either. <laughs> We're still talking about bananas, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just broke me, then. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll continue on while Calaf relearns how to breathe. And, uh... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm good now. Right. I have to admit, I've still got tears in my eyes, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are watering. The kind of things, sometimes when we record, uh, that, that just takes me completely by surprise that... I don't expect to to be said. Like, <coughs> Foldex does it to me more often than I would like. But I think it's the first time you've said something that's really kind of maybe like, where the hell did that come from? 
<laughs> yeah, that was pretty random. I'm sort of like, I'm missing my girlfriend. Oh. I'm, I'm sure Jem's some now you know what. You. Oh yeah. Is she uh, busy with one of her LARP events? She is. Uh, she's at uh, an event in Leek. Nice. Cal's been trying to persuade uh, for anyone to get into LARP for years, but... Not right. You'd love it, mate. Oh. Right up your street, mate. It's one of those things where uh, you can get as much out as you put into it, but if you put nothing into it, you don't get anything out of. That's a great crack in the field. I had some great crack swords. in the field once. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? No one, you got a croaky voice. <laughs> Oh, you set me up well for that. Okay. Uh, where are we? But a woman scorned, that was it. Yeah. Right. Did you bring your bunch of bananas with? So we've got. I'm saying, get past. I've been stunned. I know, I got stuck as well. I can move again now though. I think they must have had some kind of uh, paralysis. Yeah. We're oh, just going to heal that up a bit. Okay. Oh, we've got those. Uh, let's go through the door. Tradesman's entrance, yeah. <laughs> she won't like what we're training. She's a bit old, mate. Oh, you're badass. Congratulations, Sith. Make way. You've broken into my home, butchered my assassins, and forced your way into my personal chambers. Can I at least offer you a drink before you start making demands? Uh -huh. That's all before breakfast. Just wait till you've seen what I've had off my ready break. A drink would be nice. Excellent. People have so little time for hospitality these days. So tell oh, me, you're gonna get poisoned. what does the bright-eyed young daughter of Thule want from Rihanna Rist? I think that's... I believe this has your name on it. Too much subterfuge well, well. for her. Let me guess. You dug this holo out of some dusty archive in House Alder. Let's just say that his royal Jedi-ness no more Organa and I our ancient history, and leave that dead dog buried. Tell me about Nomar Organa, or die. You think because you are Sith, you can intimidate me with threats. I yes, see more of war than either you or that little bird, Thul, and you won't get anything out of me without a fight. Well, we can do that too. Do you want to take yourself, or we should try a threesome? I don't mind it. There you go, I'm just going to throw a little bit of healing. She does a lot of damage with some of those moves. I probably should be interrupting it, but to be honest, I'm not paying attention to what she's doing. <laughs> Alright, you win. I'll call him. No more Organa's not worth dying for. But then I want you out of my home. I knew you see it my way. Don't be too smug. Coercion can hardly be equated with persuasion. Let me bring him up. Rahana? 
What a surprise. I know. It, it must be. Nomar, there's something I need to talk to you about. Go ahead. Anything I can do. Anything at all. Not... not like this. It's a favor I need, here on Alderaan. I was hoping we could meet. Of course. I can be there in a few hours. The old place? Yes. The old place. Thank you. There. Are you happy now? Should make a good set. I'll be happy when you're dead. <laughs> or not. Nice. She milked her death animation a little bit, but you know. Yeah. I don't know, I almost feel guilty of you killing her like that, you know? No, you don't. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I don't. Uh, I'm gonna go and quickly equip up my companion here. He's got new legs. There we go. I'll uh, check the map. Are we quite a distance away from where we need to be? Um, um, not massively. We've got to get out of this complex first, so... Okay. Um, then in the next episode, we'll be probably doing class, class quests, and uh, we'll travel out of our own steam, I guess. So uh, join us then.